Hello, my name is Steve Goodrow. I'm the cloud evangelist here at Gigamon, and we're going to cover what is port spoofing in the cloud. So uh, port spoofing is also known as using non-standard ports. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, both sides of the conversation just have to agree on using a different port for a, a common protocol or application. Uh, it's very difficult to detect, and, and standard logging will incorrectly identify it. Um, log, I mean, uh, ports are principally specified in RFCs. Uh, these are pre-existing standards. It specifies what ports uh, of, uh, protocols and applications should use, but there's nothing really enforcing that. Uh, the MITRE ATT&CK framework has a whole dedicated sub-technique section to this. And if you look at some of the incidents uh, that are in the sub-technique, they're almost all legitimate applications. They're just running uh, on different ports. Uh, and if you look further, almost all of these inc incidents were detected at the perimeter. That means that traffic traversed the entirety of the network before being detected at the edge. And that's because that's probably where the next-gen firewalls and the deep packet inspection lives. So this is something that's difficult to see uh, internally east and west. So we're going to have a dive demo. And in this particular demo, we have two workloads in AWS. They're Ubuntu Linux machines, uh, and they have SSH configured to run on port 443. So we're going to connect to workload A, then we're going to SSH over to 44 uh, to workload B, and it's going to show in its net stat that it actually has an HTTPS connection. So it is incorrectly identifying uh, the connection. It's assuming it based on port. So most modern cloud visibility tools will report this traffic as, as it appears to be but not what it actually is. Now, on to the demo. So we are now connected to workload A, and we are going to SSH on over uh, to workload B. All right, so now that we're connected, we're going to do a netstat A, and we're going to see that workload B is identifying the connection as HTTPS on uh, port 37804. So the workstation itself is incorrectly identifying this. So what we're going to do next, we're going to check VPC flow logs and see how it's identified. So at the bottom here, you see an excerpt from one of the many visibility tools that we interrupt with. And as you can see, on the left, we have the AWS VPC flow log. It does see the conversation on port 37804, uh, and it only sees it as 443. On the right, our solution is also sees the conversation of port 37804, but it correctly identifies it as SSH. So the broad takeaway here is that many cloud visibility tools report traffic for what it appears to be and not necessarily what it is. You need visibility beyond standard logging. Um, and while this isn't specifically a security use case, as we saw with the MITRE sub technique, many legitimate applications can be uh, misconfigured or changed to evade detection.